Okay, hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Witches of the Moon. And again, I missed my day, so I'm coming back to y'all today on Sunday. Now, all week I know y'all have heard, well, excuse me, of course this week y'all know we're talking about tarot, tarot and magic. And all week you've heard people talk about different um, things or different aspects of tarot and magic. So what I want to do for y'all is give y'all just a couple of quick um, magical spells that y'all can do with tarot cards or most likely magical charms that y'all can make so um, the first card um, and I'm mostly sticking to the major arcana and not the minor arcana um, I have a reason for that but the first card I have right here is the lover's card and of course the lover's card as you see the sign of Taurus is on it I forgot which sign that was but and even up here it has the sign of six the, the V and the one makes six and six is the number of creations, number of manifestation, it's the number of man. So, again, I'm jumping right into this because I missed it and y'all don't need no wholly long intro. So I'm going to get right to the meat and potatoes of it to give y'all what you want. So with the lover's card, what you could do is make a charm for this. Um, you could find on the internet smaller decks of normally um, the Rider weight deck. You can only find the smaller ones like that. And what you can do is you can take the lover's card out of that. Of course, you're going to anoint it, cleanse it, and bless it. And you will either write um, your name down here in, you will write your name down here in red, right? And you will put new lover up here in black. And you will put this in a red flannel bag with um, rose petals or jasmine or hibiscus or something like that to call a new lover to you. And right in the middle, you would just put, um, you were right, actually not in the middle. Around the lover, you would put, lover, come to me. Like that. Don't worry about the two women and the one man. That takes a totally different meaning when doing a reading. Right now, we're talking about actually just using it in spell work. So you will put around it, lover, come to me. Now, this is for a male or female. Both could do that. And you would put this in a red flannel bag. And you would just light a tea light candle or a red candle on it. I prefer a tea light candle if you're going to do it ongoing. And light a tea light candle on it once a week. And this will call a new lover to you. So that's one. Second one. Chariot card. Now this card you can use for like a travel protection spell. Because obviously he's in a chariot. He's protected. You know, and that he has his sphinx. As you see, their eyes are closed. Which means they can spiritually see ahead. So with the chariot card, what you can do is you could take this, put bloodstone, um, take this in a, in a blue bag because you, blue deals with communication, also deals with travel. So you would take this and put it in a blue flannel bag. Again, small this size card or a smaller card, whatever. And you don't have to write anything on it. You would just put, um, well, it's a bloodstone and a citrine, and you would just anoint it with protection oil. And you could put this and you wrap, put it in the flannel bag or wrap it in flannel, whichever one's easier for you. And you can either like hang it from the rear view mirror or I would prefer you could put it in the glove compartment. So, or if we have one of the cards that still have ashtrays in them and you're not a smoker or whatever and you have a smaller deck, just stick it right in the ashtray. So that's two. So here's the third one. Now this one is the Will of Fortune card. This card is clearly for money and I don't really like to say gambling, but I think that's because I'm not a gambler. <laughs> but people have been known to use it for gambling. So you would take this card and you would anoint it clearly with money oil and you would write on the top in green, I'm sorry, write on the top in black, money come to me, and then write your name in the bottom. So you write money come to me up here, write your name on the bottom, you anoint it with money oil, and you can add um, any type of money herbs, you can add mint. You can add um, anything that's a road opener, like um, Alper Camino, which is the original road opener, but you can also add lemon pills, you can add mint, you can add cinnamon, you can add nutmeg, um, and things like that. Or Galengo. Galengo is actually a good root to really use with this card. Um, stones, you could do pyrite, bloodstone, citrine, um, fuchsite. Those are the ones that come, sunstone, to always give it, those are the ones that come to mind um, right away that you could use. And again, you will wrap this in either a red, black, or um, green fl flannel or green green bag. I say red because red is normally what traditionally used in all um, mojo bags or charm bags, but black is for um, old money, long standing money, uh, generational wealth, you know, because black is the deepest color, colors of water, and water 
deals with currents and the currents in the water. That's where they got currency from. So it's all connected without going too deep into it. Or you use green. Green is the color of nature. So we always consider anything green and fruit, fruitful, you know, wealth. So you can use a green bag for that. And with the conjunction with the stones and the herbs and stuff. And just put it in a bag. And those are, and you will put this in a bag. You either put it, keep it in your purse, keep it in your wallet, um, keep it on your money altar. Keep it, you can also keep it on your ancestor altar. And, um, you know, if you do a lot of travel with your business, you can also keep it in your car, take it to work with you, put it in a drawer, put it in your cash register. There's so many different ways you can hide this stuff. So, I know this video is really, really short, but I wanted to come to you fast, quick. Oh, well, not fast, but I don't even know what's the difference between fast and quick. But I wanted to come to y'all quick, straight to the point with stuff y'all could do, because I already missed my day. I don't plan on missing this week. So, yeah, that is my video for the week. I apologize again. And hopefully y'all can use this tarot, um, a couple of tarot charms that I could do and go have fun with them. All right? Peace.